direct and indirect speech. Marty, it's my birthday tomorrow. I am going to have a party. Will you and Macy come, please? Yay! Yoo-hoo! Birthday party! Of course we will come. I am so glad to hear that, Marty. Should I tell Macy or will you give her the message? Don't worry. I'll give her the message. So, what did Mira tell you? You sounded very excited. Yes, Macy. Mira said it's my birthday tomorrow. I am going to have a party. Will you and Macy come, please? <laughs> what? Mira said what? Well, I just told you, Macy. Mira said it's my birthday tomorrow. I am going to have a party. Will you and Macy come, please? <laughs> oh, Marty. When you say it like that, it sounds as though it is your birthday and you are having a party. But, but, I was just telling you what Mira said. Marty, when we convey the words that someone else spoke, we must say it in an indirect way. We call this indirect speech. This is how you should say it. Mira said that it is her birthday tomorrow and that she is going to have a party. She requested us to come. But both sentences have the same meaning. So what's the difference between them? Well, in a direct speech, the exact words of the speaker are repeated. When we write a sentence in direct speech, the words are placed within inverted commas. We also add a comma after the word said. In indirect speech, the words of the speaker are not enclosed in inverted commas. The word that is used to report the speaker's words. The words are narrated by introducing different pronouns for the speaker. We also change the tense, usually to a form of the past tense. That's not so difficult. I am glad to hear that. Are you enjoying the party? Oh yes! I wanted to burst crackers, but Mama refused to let me. Well, crackers harm the environment, so it's a good thing. So, did you have fun in Mira's birthday party? Yes, Mira said the same thing. Really? Yes, she said that. Was I enjoying the party? Hmm, I see that you tried to use indirect speech here. However, we usually use said for declarative sentences. For interrogative sentences, we use asked, requested, inquired, etc. For imperative sentences, we use told, commanded, ordered, etc. For exclamatory sentences, we use exclaimed, cried, etc. Such words are called reporting verbs. Oh, I didn't know this. Thanks for telling me. Mira asked if I am enjoying the party. Hmm, remember what I said about changing the tenses? All right. It's quite simple. Simple present changes to simple past. Present continuous changes to past continuous. Present perfect changes to past perfect. Present perfect continuous changes to past perfect continuous. Simple past changes to past perfect. Past continuous changes to past perfect continuous. Past perfect and past perfect continuous do not change. I think I will remember these. I am sure you will. Time for quick recall. In direct speech, exact words of the speaker are repeated. We enclose the words within inverted commas. The reporting verb is formed by a comma. In indirect speech, the words are not enclosed within inverted commas. 
The words are narrated by introducing different pronouns for the speaker. We also change the tense, usually to a form of the past tense. That's it for the day. See you again with new stories and lessons.